Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about different types of simple dry and dehiscent fruits. A fruit is defined as a seed bearing structure in angiosperms formed from the ovary after flowering and those derived without any non carpellary part are regarded as true fruits. A simple fruit is defined as a fruit which is derived from the ovary of a monocarpellary or polycarpellary syncarpus pistil of a single flower. Dry dehiscent type of fruits have a pericarp which is dry and it's not differentiated into epicarp, mesocarp and endocarp. Five different types of simple dry and dehiscent fruits are legume, follicle, silicula, silicua and capsule. A legume or pod is a uninocular superior fruit which splits up at maturity along both dorsal and ventral sutures. Follicle is like a pod, unilocular and superior, but splits up only by one ventral suture. However, a silicua is an elongated, narrow, cylindrical, many seeded, simple dry fruit developed from bicarpellary syncarpus superior pistil having parietal placentation. It opens explosively along the sutures to expose the seeds attached to replum. Now coming to silicula, it resembles silicua, but it is shortened and wide and it contains few seeds. For example, Capsella bursa pistoris, which is known as shepherd's purse, and Iberis amara, candy duct. Lastly, a capsule type of fruit is a fruit which is many seeded, it is dry and it is open in many different ways. Like they can be porosidal, they can be denticidal, they may dehisce by transverse dehiscence or by longitudinal dehiscence. The pictures show porosidal dehiscence in antirhinum and papaver somniferum, denticidal dehiscence in dianthus, which is commonly known as sphinx, transverse dehiscence in portulaca and eucalyptus. Lastly, these two pictures show longitudinal dehiscence in Abelmoschus bindi and the Tora. Longitudinal dehiscence can further be of two types, that is, loculicidal or septicidal. That's all about simple, dry, and dehiscent fruits. Thank you for listening.